Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I hope you are doing well. So today we are making a running game. But first, I will give you an introduction about the scratch. So this is our code area. This is our code blocks. This is our stage. This is our sprite. And this is our sprite area. So kindly open the scratch interface. After that, delete this sprite because we don't need it. And then we will use upload our own backdrops i will give you the links in the description you can also use it for yourself so this is our backdrop okay that's great and we will delete this one let's go to code area and go to sprite choose a sprite and use upload sprite then we will use this platform okay simply put it right here okay go to costumes and we will make we will convert it into vector okay after that we will make a copy out of it and we will paste it right here simply put it up and flip it vertically and we will put it according like here and we will change its longevity that's great and we will simply put it according to the stage that's great so now we have made our platform okay after that we will give it some codes so for that go to code area okay so we will use go to events block we will use this coordination simply put it on the tip of that okay after that we will use this coordination go to motion area okay that is and simply make a duplicate put it right here after that we will use we want the platform to glide so for that we will use go to change x y but it is in negative form we will use this trick simply put 30 okay one two three four five six seven eight okay so eight it is going out of that okay out of the context we will simply use positive 30 and click so that's great now simply use this coordination with the glide and go to control area use forever put this coordination and this along with it let's see that's great so now we will add a background sound so for that go to sound area we will use the scratch own that is a cave sound simply go to code area okay after that go to events block when the flag has been clicked Okay, it should wait for one second and after that go to uh, control block use forever and we will use sound block and we will use the sound. Let's see. That's great. So now it is working. We will use another sprite that is our spikes. So simply we will decrease its size to 50. That's great. And we will put it right here. Now go to costumes, convert it into vector simply and zoom out. Okay. Put it right here. And after that we will copy it and paste it right here and simply flip it vertically. Okay, and we will put it along with the platform. So for that, it will need some manually things. So simply do this. That's great. So now we will give the same code as we have done for that. Okay, so go to, go to code area. Okay, so the code will be, it should start or respawn from right here and go towards the crab or the negative direction so for that go to events block when the flag has been clicked 
go to motion block you will use this coordination after that go to control block we'll use forever and then we will glide it okay glide towards the negative direction but manually okay after that go to motion block we will use this glideness okay so it should start from right here and it will glide by like four seconds let's see and we will simply make a duplicate because we need the coordination let's see that's great so now we will upload another sprite that is crab okay let's decrease its size okay let's put it right here okay and then go to costume area we will add another costumes of this crab let's put another one crab 3 convert all to vector to looks real okay after that go to code area so the first code will be it should change its costume so for that go to events block when the flag has been clicked go to control block use forever after that we will use some weight okay like 0 0.01 and then we will use go to looks block We'll use next costume let's see that's great so now it is working after that we will give some movements to the crab to the down and up so it should flip right here and it's change its angle so for that go to events block when the flag has been clicked after that go to motion block we will use this coordination so whenever the flag has been clicked it should spawn right here okay and the angle should be 90 okay after that we will give some keys so for that go to control block use forever if then then go to sensing block we'll use some keys okay like down arrow key so simply go to motion block we'll use this coordination and we will use the positive 90 direction okay go to control block use if then after that go to sensing block we'll use the up arrow key okay after that we will simply change its angle to 90 uh, 90 angle okay it will be perfect and we will perfectly put it right here and simply we will use this coordination so then go to motion block we will use this coordination and we will use 90 angle but in negative direction that's great let's see that's great so now we will add another backdrop go to backdrop area simply make a duplicate okay and fill the color red and the serif will be font style will be pixel and click on the phone okay and put right here game over okay after that increase its size okay so looks good that's great then go to code area so now we will code we will make a code for the whenever it touches the spike what it should do it should make this game over backdrop right here appear right here okay so for that we will use first put the first backdrop right here then go to code area okay after that put click on the crab and go to events block when the flag has been clicked after that go to looks block we will use the first backdrop when the flag has been clicked there will be first backdrop after that go to control block use forever if then go to sensing block whenever it touches what the spike what it should do go to looks block switch backdrop to backdrop 2 
and the game will be stopped so for that we will use stop all that's great let's see that's great okay so the next step will be we will upload another sprite that is shell okay let's decrease its size to 40 and put it right here along with the platform okay we will use this coordination and the movements will be it should start or respawn right here and go towards the crab so for that we will simply convert it into vector and then go to code area then go to events block when the flag has been clicked and whenever it touches the crab there will be some change in the score so for that go to variables block we will make our own variable that will be called score okay so we will use set my score to zero after that we will use this coordination then go to motion block we will use this coordination and now we will give the shell some movements so for that we will use go to control block use forever after that go to motion block we will use change x by so we will use 5 but it is in negative direction so we will put negative sign okay let's see that's great so now we will give some code whenever it goes to this coordination it should respawn right here so for that go to control block use if then okay after that go to operators block we will use this operator okay let's see what are the coordination of this place so it is simply 248 so we will simply put 240 but in negative form that's great so it is in x direction so simply go to motion block okay and we will put x position so what it should do whenever it goes to this coordination it should simply go towards directly to the respawn point which is this place okay let's see that's great it is again respawn right here okay so the other case will be whenever it touches the crab what it should do it should respawn right here again and there will be some change in score so for that go to control block will use if then after that go to sensing block whenever it touches what the crab what it should do there will be some change in the score so kindly go to variables block change my score to one so whenever it touches the crab there will be one plus okay after that it should directly respawn again to the respawn point so for that we will simply make a duplicate and we will use this coordination and it should make a sound whenever it touches so for that go to sound area we will use the pop-up sound okay then go to code area simply go to sound block and we will use the pop sound let's see let's see okay so now it is making the pop sound and also there is some change in the score so now it is working let's see the overall results that's great so now it is working please make sure to like and subscribe if you are new to the channel and it will encourages us to make more contents for you have a nice day and goodbye